Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Rake and Profit. Coming back to you guys with another video. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend and are ready to kick butt in your business this upcoming week. But in any event, in today's video, I wanna share with you a really cool piece of equipment. And I actually just got finished testing out over at a TJ Maxx down the street from my house and a Goodwill. And I'm really excited to share with you guys this piece of equipment because it has allowed me to scan items so much faster. I'm gonna just throw out kind of like a ballpark number to kind of like give you an example of how powerful this tool is. But typically I'm gonna say maybe in an hour, you know, maybe I could scan, you know, 100 books or so. I'm just throwing out a random number. I may be far off, I've never really counted. But let's just say I can normally scan 100 books. The typical way that I do with my phone, right? My phone and pretty much what I would do is I would go into my Amazon seller app and the barcode would come up and then, you know, bada bing, bada boom, I would scan it. And then you have to wait for it to process. Processing, processing. It's still taking forever. It's still working on it because it's trying to find the internet. It still hasn't found it. Um, so usually, uh, you know, it would take me a couple seconds to pull out my Amazon seller app, scan the barcode, wait for it to load, and then process the information. Well, with this brand new piece of equipment, let me, let, me zone, let me zoom that in for you. With this brand new piece of equipment, I'm, I'm able to scan probably three to four times faster, maybe five times faster. And what this is, is a ScanFob Opticon 2006. Now, I am gonna leave information uh, about this item in the description area below. So, you know, in case you didn't get that name, you could check that out. They sell it on Amazon and that's where I got mine. This ran about $300, right? I believe $300. I purchased this a while ago, maybe a year ago. I got it from Mama Profits, was trying to be a good son. She never used it, right? She never used it. So I said, you know what, Mama Profits? I'm taking it back and I'm gonna go make some money. So I set this up last night and what it is, is it's a barcode scanner. And the difference is, instead of having to use your phone, which, this thing's still loading. To, you'd have to use your camera to be able to like, it like kind of snaps a picture of the barcode and reads it that way. And it kind of has to like focus in on it. Instead of using that technology, this is actually just a laser scanner. So you might be able to see that laser and it's instant. I mean, it is super fast. There's no loading. The only loading is uh, with the internet, but I got a new thing. I'm not gonna share with you this new thing that I, that I also purchased last night that makes it even quicker, which is a new, uh, scanning software, so I'm not using the Amazon Seller app anymore. I got something new. I'll, I'll make a video about that. But with that new software and this scanner, I could scan probably four to five times faster. And uh, I mean, it is super, super quick. And let me see if I can show you an example. I'm actually gonna log into my Scoutify, which is another app that I use, which is free with Inventory Lab, which is great if you're selling clothing and shoes, because if you use the Amazon Seller app, you're not gonna be able to see the ranking. For some reason, the ranking for clothing, shoes, apparel types items doesn't pop up on the Amazon Seller app. So Scoutify is awesome. If you have Inventory Lab, this is gonna be free. You're gonna get unlimited amounts of licenses uh, of this. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just show you kind of how it's done and I, I kind of got a weird camera angle, but boom, just like that and it's done. And it pops up on uh, the screen right here. So the cool thing is you don't have to like use your phone to be able to, you know, to have to capture the image and then kind of focus in on it. I mean, this is just instantaneous. It's boom and it scans and it's super quick. Another cool thing is instead of having to pull out each book to, you know, take it and put it in front of me and to scan it, which you typically have to do, especially with the Note 4 because it's so big and bulky, you could actually be going alongside a bookshelf and just kind of like pull it out just a tiny bit and scan it in that way. So you could go boom, 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 right down the shelf. And I was moving so quick, guys. You should have seen me over at the Goodwill. I was I was like a rabbit flying through the racks. And I ended up picking up like 30 or 45 books, I think more towards 40 books at Goodwill when typically I'd only leave with maybe eight or nine or 10 because I was able to scan so many more books, guys. And that's really the key. This is why I love this thing so much. And it was only my first day using it and it's like, it's love at first sight, guys. It really is. It's like, where the heck have you been my whole life? How much money have I lost out on by just using my phone over the last couple of years? Probably thousands of dollars. Probably thousands of dollars. It's absolutely crazy. So 
If you guys are big into scanning books, or even if you're doing retail arbitrage, because with retail arbitrage, you'll be scanning multiple items. For example, I was just at TJ Maxx uh, a couple hours ago, and I went in there and I was scanning all the clothes, I was scanning belts, I was scanning socks, I was scanning hats, I was scanning baby toys and random things. I scanned hundreds of items and it was it was really quick with this. It really was. It was so much faster. And uh, I'm actually going to put together a cool little uh, thing on my phone, which I actually, whoa, I just dropped my phone, which I actually watched in a video by uh, Caleb Roth. So if you're not following Caleb Roth, check him out. I'll put a uh, link to his blog below. But he had a cool video on YouTube that was sharing like a little setup that he had. So pretty much what he did was he took his scan fob and he set up like this Velcro type of deal on the back of his phone and it clicked on. So it, it turned into one unit. So you were only, so were you able to use one hand? Cause the problem is with, with my setup now, I've either got to lean this up against something and then scan cause I need a hand to be able to pick up the books. Or I could use the method that Caleb was talking about where he kind of just sticks the thing on back and it turns into a unit like that. So um, I'll definitely give you guys more information about that once I get that set up. But yeah, guys, the ScanFob uh, 2006, Opticon 2006 is a freaking winner. Uh, there are two versions available, I believe, of this like specific model. There's a 2002 and a 2006 version. I'll also link that below as well. But yeah, guys, I'm loving this. I'm super excited to continue scaling up my Amazon FBA business. I'm excited to go to bookstores more now because before it was just such a pain in the butt. It really was. I mean, it, it worked for me, but it was a pain and it wasn't the most efficient thing possible. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are using a scan fob, let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys are using your phone, I want to know why you haven't taken that leap of faith and, you know, invested in a tool that will be able to, you know, make your life so much more efficient. It'll save you time. You'll be able to process some more items. I'd like to know why you why you haven't taken that step. Um, I guess for me, the reason why, I was just being lazy. And uh, I guess that's really the only excuse, lazy, because I had one sitting around for a year that my mom wasn't using. So uh, I, I say my excuse is laziness. So if you're being lazy, definitely don't be anymore, guys. You're losing out on a lot of money. If it's if it's a money issue, just think of it this way, guys. If you can make an extra 50 bucks a week, you know, buying an extra four or five items, that's 200 bucks a month. And, you know, this is like 300 bucks. So maybe within, you know, 45 days, it could pay for itself. And then the rest of the, you know, 10 months, it's just pure profit. So maybe you could look at it that way, guys. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Look forward to talking to you in the next one. And I'll also, in the next video, I'll talk about the new listing, uh, the new scanning software that I purchased. And I purchased some new listing software as well, which I'll talk about in another video, guys. I'm stepping up my game. Hopefully you guys are as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. Here, oh, I have to you look it up. It I'll, check, I'll check it out. The box is a little damaged. Hey, mom, you have a really weird son. Why? Take a look in here and tell me what you think. Mackerel. But take a look at what they are. Oh, I'm gonna have to check out with all of these. Oh are those for girls when, you know, yeah. something yeah, you know what. down low? Yeah. There's young kids watching. Um, oh, yeah. I'm scared. <laughs>